There is an obsession with the numbers. How many people are going to migrate and where are they going? Every time I talk to a journalist about climate change and migration, I can be sure that at one point, there will be the question, how many people are we talking about? The challenges for scientists and researchers in forecasting migration or just getting numbers right is that, first of all, we don't agree on exactly how to define a, an environmental migrant or a climate migrant. People aren't going to say necessarily that climate change is the reason that they're moving. Many people uh, would say that there are a multitude of reasons why they're moving and climate change is one of them. So that makes it very difficult to make the link and then therefore predict the numbers. Human behavior is complex. So when it comes to forecasting and predicting what will happen in the future, we're trying to predict human behavior. Numbers could be predicted generally in terms of uh, natural hazard and displacement. I mean, we can predict how many people are displaced as a result of annual floods, of uh, typhoons. Well, those are the kind of numbers we have, but a lot of people feel very uncomfortable linking disasters to climate change directly. You know, when you work with policymakers, you try to communicate these issues, it makes sense that they want to know how big of a problem this is, how significant of an issue it is in order to understand how quickly they need to address it, to what extent, how high on the agenda should this go. The problem is that from the moment you give a number, you lose control about this number completely. I, I cannot recount the number of times when I ventured into giving a number to a journalist and then that number got reproduced zillion times without any control about the use that could be made about the numbers. It transpired and went viral that there would be 1 billion climate refugees by 2050. And that's probably a number many people have heard or seen or news has picked it up. But of course, that's not true. Even though there are many numbers who are floating in public debates, which we shouldn't trust, there are some robust numbers that we can trust and these numbers can help us frame the debate and realize the magnitude of, uh, of the issue we're talking about. We have 24.9 million people who in 2019 alone were displaced by natural disasters. And that's only natural disasters. That doesn't account for uh, slow onset impacts of environmental um, change, of Climate change, again, impacts like sea level rise or coastal erosion or drought. 24.9 million people displaced by sudden onset disasters within their countries, internally displaced people. And this number is produced by an NGO based in Geneva, which is called the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center. To give you an idea of the magnitude of this number, they compare it to the number of people who are displaced annually by conflicts and violence. There are roughly three times more people displaced by disaster than people displaced by conflicts and violence. The numbers are getting better, but they become controversial because they're often times the only conversation that we have. We need to remain extremely cautious when we project numbers because the number of people who will migrate in the future will depend not just on climate change itself but also on a lot of other political and economic drivers and demo demographic factors which we don't control. Mm -hmm.